Hello and welcome to the Traveling Thyroid. Today I want to unbox, complete, share with you, and some send back my collection kit from 23andMe. So 23andMe is an online company that does data collection and DNA analysis and the reason I've wanted to do this, I've actually wanted to do it for years even before I knew I had a thyroid condition because I want to know about any medical conditions I may be predisposed to or my heritage. My family's always described our lineage as European mutts. So I think there's some German, I think there's some French, I think there's some Native American. I really don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I wanted to share a little unboxing, completion, and sending it back. And I actually have not shared anything with 23andMe. I've had a profile for about four years from when I had wanted to do it years ago. Coincidentally, about six months before I was diagnosed with anything, before I knew I had any medical condition associated with my thyroid. And I had a coworker who had done it and praised it. I never did. I just didn't want to spend the money at the time. And when I was diagnosed and felt like it was time for me to take that step and, and try and get any information I could about my, my lineage, my, my DNA, or any of my predispositions for medical conditions, 23andMe had been pulled. I, I don't know what government agency had put a pause on it, but they pretty much said, you can't do your services until we uh, <laughs> approve what you're doing. So after a few years, they have recently relaunched, and now their kits are $199. What I'm going to do is, uh, it's going to be really fun. You're going to watch me unbox this, read the directions, spit in a cup like a lady, and package it back up, and then I don't know that I'll share all of my personal information. I don't think that's appropriate. However, I would love to share some of the findings and then tell you how accurate I think they are. And I, I, I fully expect them to be accurate. I just ha I haven't even told 23andMe that I'm a female. I haven't told them my age, my, my heritage, anything. And so I want a, f a blank slate for them to tell me what they think, my, what, what my DNA tells them or how they analyze it. And then I'll start completing the surveys and profiles. And I would eventually like to get my husband one as well and maybe some of my siblings or my father. And I think that'd be really cool. But Anyway, so it arrives in this cute little box, which is really small. It says 23andMe on the side there. It's probably not going to focus. But anyway, it comes in a cellophane wrapped, and on the back is my address. But for personal reasons, I'm keeping that covered. So I'm going to open it on up. And my understanding is there's a label in here, and I just go ahead and slap the label back on with my sample and mail this cute little box back to them. So yep, then pre-stamped label on the back, um, and so, all right, it says to register your kit at 23andMe.com slash start, and all right, so within here, ooh, a sticker, like am I going to put this on a snowboard? I'm not going to put this on my car, okay, uh, <laughs> all right, so in the box, Right, look at how exciting this is not, but I am excited. <laughs> All right, so before mailing, register your kit at 23andme.com slash start, otherwise your sample will not be processed. No, you're gonna process it. All right, it says no food, or, uh, there's six steps here. Step one, no food or drink for 30 minutes. So I will have to wait. I'll eventually record it in a little bit and we're gonna bond over me spitting in a, in a sample cup. <laughs> step two, spit to the fill line. Step three, close the funnel. Step four, detach funnel, screw on cap. Step five, seal in the bag. And step six, mail it back with its prepaid label. So that's all that comes in this little box. All right, let's see, a little kit here. Register this kit now at 23andme.com slash start. I will do that without video recording because I have personal information. But in this little Plastic doodad. Oh, okay. So that was the register now. Oh, hey, the same six, six steps again with bigger pictures and a little bit more. Let's see. Warnings and precautions. Wash. Oh, if this if you get the stabilizing liquid, 
get it into your eyes, your skin, wash. Okay, yeah. Um, most people take between two and five minutes to deliver a saliva sample following steps one to six. Okay. I have drank water right before I started this video, so I'm going to set a 30 minute timer and then I'll come back and uh, spit in a tube. Yeah. All right. So before I do my, my timer, uh, all right, the little container came with the spit cup. Uh, I need to stop calling it that. <laughs> it tells you how high to fill it to with saliva. And then in this lid, there's actually a liquid. I'm not going to move it because it's going to release the stabilizing agent into the tube. So that way it's safe to be mailed and it won't compromise my, my DNA while it's being shipped through any temperature extremes or pressurization. So, all right, this is really cool. And of course the biohazard bag, which makes a lot of sense. This is, I think, what I put it back in after I spit in the tube and then sip this back in the clear bucket. And then I put it back in the box and then I mail it off. And then in, I think it's 48 weeks. I'd have to look on the website again and then I'll get my, my results. So, all right, 20 minute timer, no. 30 minute timer starts now. Welcome back. So my 30 minute timer is up. So now I'm going to uh, fill up the sample as directed. So no food or drink for 30 minutes. Check. Fill line. This great little picture. Spitting again. All right. This is going to take forever. Yeah, that'll work. Hold the tube upright with one hand, close the funnel lid with the other hand as shown. By firmly pushing the lid until you hear a loud click, the liquid in the lid will be released in the tube to mix with saliva. Make sure the lid is closed tightly. All Hold the tube upright and unscrew the funnel from the tube and discard. Use the small cap to close the tube tightly. Shake the cap tube for five seconds. Right. Oh, that's gross. Place the cap tube into the plastic bag, contain the absorbent pad, and seal the bag. Place the sealed plastic bag into the original box, peel the strip, and seal the box closed, then ship. Shipping has been prepaid. I'm going to put them back in here. It doesn't specifically say to or not to, but I don't see why not. We'll keep it stable. Bye-bye, DNA. I'll see you in two months. Alright, let's see how I'm going to mail this back off to 23andMe. 
So uh, it should take four to eight weeks. And then in the 30 minutes between until I was ready to spit in the cup, I went and registered my account. So now I, now 23andMe does have my birth date and my, <laughs> and my gender, but that's just the means of identification. So I've told them nothing else and I can't wait to see what they say about my heritage, my health, my predispositions, my genetics. There's a lot of cool things that this offers. And I'll add a link below of a, a quick YouTube video. It's about two and a half minutes from 23andMe. And it actually is a quick synopsis of the type of reports that they provide upon analysis of your DNA. So I'm real excited. Thank you for joining on the Traveling Thyroid. And if you're interested, please, uh, I'll, I, I think I can put a link down below for you to go to go to 23andMe.com and get your own information about your about yourself. So. Thank you very much and I'll see you later.